military governor. The people of Casamari and I need no introduction to each other, Your Honor. It's much too hot a day to stand at attention. Fall out. No armed guards between us. We travel a hard road together, my friends. War and privation make us brothers who often share the bitter wine of defeat. Only 50 miles from our village, the Austrian army is attacking the brave defenders of our country. They still hold firm. They will not fail. We of Casamare must not fail them, for the cannon of our little fort guard the sea gate to northern Italy. But more important than cannon is a memory of our patriot, the Count of Monte Cristo, who from these very steps spoke in the name of freedom and justice when last he sheathed his sword. I leave my blade to the people of Casamare. If it ever be drawn again, may the cause be justice. We keep faith with our hero and with the soldiers of Italian independence. While they give their lives, we give our coins to keep them armed against the invaders. In the name of Monte Cristo, who will spend his gold to buy the future? Everything here is of the best. Well aged. But the mourners have lived here for a long time. This place would make a fine headquarters. The governor's best headquarters is in the hearts of his people. And uh, in their purses? I said in their hearts. Count de Mona. Your message brought me at once. I think, Governor, that our discussion had best be private. Any occasion of meeting with you, sir, is always my pleasure. I've not looked forward to this meeting, Governor. But today it became necessary. I assure you, sir, you may count on me in any necessity. I have counted on you, Signor Arocca. And I've done my utmost to support you as military governor. I believe that you were honest and loyal to our country. The people of Casamare are judges of my loyalty, sir. Yes, I've heard you tell them that. And they, and I, believed you. If there's any cause for doubt. There is. Grave cause. I have intercepted a letter which you recently sent to a banker in Zurich. It reveals large sums added to your personal account. I would not expect you to consider wealth a crime count. The crime is communicating with the enemy, as indicated in your letter. May I see this uh, extraordinary letter? I want you to. If you can prove that the handwriting is not your own, I'll see that the matter goes no further. It will go no further. Your master took his own life. 
You face exposure to traitor to our country. A traitor? This letter proves Count de Morna a spy in the pay of Austria. It will be made public after a meeting of the Board of Inquiry. Our horses, quickly. At once. There's a powder mark on your right hand, Excellency. At times, your eyes are too sharp, Gallardi. My curiosity serves your best interests, Excellency. Count de Morna also suffered from curiosity. Concerning your letter? What letter? I only love his letter to the Austrians. You're quite sure that his letter was not shown to anyone else? Quite sure. The late Count de Morna was a gentleman, Gallardi. And the gentleman has a son. A brave soldier. Now leading his troops at the front lines. With a reckless courage, let us hope. Well, Diablo, does the country begin to look more familiar? We're nearing home. Go back. The way is blocked. Take another road. Are you expecting the Austrians, Major? As you see, the cannon has fallen. Clear the road, Captain. I prefer to clear the case on, sir. What? I can't lose time, sir. You see, I'm on leave. This is rank insubordination! Your name and regiment, sir! Renato de Morna, Piedmont is ours. Attention! Renato! Attention! At your service, my captain. At rest, Corporal. Have you been drilling regularly? Yes. And washing the back of your neck? Oh, yes. I took a bath yesterday. All over. Good. And no stealing? Yes. But this is all I stole today. I shall not yet be able to promote you to sergeant. I must go now to see my father. Report to me later. Yes, my captain. Mario! Tony! Are you catching your fish with wine these days? Hola, Gina. You've grown prettier than your roses. Your careless aim, friend. I'm no friend of traitors. It's Captain De Mona, Your Excellency. It must be stopped at once. Yes, of course. Stand back! Stand back, all of you. Stand back! What is De Morna, the traitor's son, Excellency? Our country's uniform must be respected. Put him in my carriage. And the captain wasn't seriously hurt. No. And uh, the news of his father? Stunned him. As it did us all. Oh, uh, over there by the desk. Yes, Your Excellency. Are my quarters ready, Michael? Yes, Excellency. Thank you. I would never have believed it possible, Oroka. Uh, Your Excellency. I think we're going to be very comfortable here in our new headquarters. Yes. How fortunate we happened to select this place. A young friend will not be unprotected and alone in his troubles. You're going to let him stay here? Remember, Kalari, this is his home. But he may ask questions after his head clears. And we'll be here to answer them. But he wouldn't be here to ask them if you hadn't gone to his rescue. Kalari! Would you allow a brave soldier of Italy to be torn to pieces by a pack of mad dogs? My congratulations, Governor. And your patriotism.
change. Hang up. Good, good, Maria. No, no, Rolo, the point not cut. Posada Soto. Good, good, Maria. You always wound me in the heart, Maria. Because you attack like a heavy dragoon, Rollo. All edge, no point. That's a foil, not a saber. Uh -huh. You see? My own words. She never forgets anything, this little one. It's lucky for me they weren't sabers. <laughs> I would have cut off your ears. Ah, uh, he won't use them to listen. <laughs> now, if her blade passes so, what do you do? Well, I... She's lost dead! <laughs> Jacopo? Have you been stealing again? This time I take nothing, senorina. I swear by the Madonna. That horse. It's Diavolo. Renato's back. Where, Jacopo? Tell me quickly. Has something happened? Yes, senorina. He is wounded. By the Austrians? Well, who then? Some men of our village with wine in the head. The governor of Morocco. He took the captain away. The Demorna Castle. La Roca's new headquarters. And we'll bring him here. He'll get the coach while I do. Not so hasty. If the townspeople see Renato, they will only finish what they started. He's right, Maria. It would be safer to bring him to Casamare after dark. Yes, that's true. Women do win more victories by darkness. And I can use the time to prepare. <laughs> Wait. No, Zio. It's better I go in alone. Alone? Into that den of jackals? No, Maria, I... You make a very nice duena, you old blunderbuss. But you might explode too soon. His Excellency does not receive callers at this hour. But I wish to speak to Captain de Morna. Impossible, Signorina. I have orders to admit no one. Whose orders? Mine. I was not expecting so charming a caller. I came to see Renato, Governor LaRocca. Of course. Our poor captain's had a trying day. But so lovely a visitor would lighten any heart. Come with me, Signorina. Yes? A delightful surprise for you, Captain. The Signorina Dorsini. Renato. Forgive me for not rising. The reception committee in Casa Mario was so strenuous that... Thanks only to His Excellency, I'm here at all. A disgraceful event, Signorina. I was very fortunate to be passing by. Renato, they've hurt you. Stupid, cowardly fool. To believe your father guilty. Perhaps we were the greater fools, Maria. My father had a certain weakness for tempering patriotism with security. He never liked to put all his wine in one cask. You think Count de Morna capable of treason? Senor La Roca showed me his letter. Senor La Roca seems to be very helpful. If he hadn't been Maria, Italy would have lost two de Mornas. I feel very much in his debt. Has that changed you so much? Even to me. I'm a traitor's son, Maria. Attacked and hated by our townsfolk. Then I'm sure you won't remain the company of your benefactor. I had intended offering our hospitality, but now... Senor Roca has been very kind. He even granted my request to occupy my old room. The memories are less disturbing here than in other parts of our house. Of course, Captain. We shall do everything for your comfort. Good night, Renato. I shall leave now so that I do not become a disturbing memory.
just as I thought. Renato is held a prisoner. Did he tell you this? He didn't have to. He played a very clever game of pretending to believe his father's guilt. He even treated me with complete indifference. Are you sure it was a game? I know Renato well enough to be able to read between words and looks. There's a side gate through the garden. I must speak to him. His Excellency thought these might brighten your room, Captain. Thank you. If there's anything else, you have only to ring, sir. conversation somewhat difficult while standing on one foot. Renato, I thought you... Go home, Maria. There's nothing more to be said. So the senorina decided to visit you again, Captain. The door was open. I couldn't help hearing. Maria always had a weakness for moonlight. I envy you your fatal charm for the ladies. I gladly exchange it for a sound right foot. You're young, Captain. I'll close the door so you won't be disturbed. Thank you, Excellency. Would you mind handing me my stick? I've uh, known these to contain swords. Good night. <laughs> I know he is. works of art and is also a dealer in confidence, Signora Roca. I too have built my reputation on confidence, Signor Donner. But you may speak plainly, my walls have no ears. Uh, perhaps. Perhaps. But uh, I prefer to take no chances. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. Now, a glance at the portfolio will show you I deal only in masterpieces. Uh, your uh, original Michelangelo drawing, you're quite certain it will match this collection? Your clients will see for themselves when they are ready to buy. Uh, my art collectors must feel sure uh, that they're also buying uh, discretion. You might remind them I'd risk more than money if this became known. Uh, <clears throat> of course. Now, I was merely recalling a Rembrandt forgery that once turned up in Vienna. <laughs> Most embarrassing. The Michelangelo is quite authentic. And uh, uh, you've set your price on this masterpiece? Twenty million lira. Twenty million? Paid into my Zurich account in advance. I have no authority, sir, to make so large a commitment without consulting my clients. The price is dictated by the value of the work. And I had hoped to avoid another difficult journey. But you won't avoid the fat percentage it brings you. I suggest you lose no time. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, Senor Donner, your etchings. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, thank you. Go 
Hardy, I'm glad to see you're back. So, Excellency. Now you're becoming an art collector. Hmm? Your wit is better employed in executing my orders. You will serve this warrant tomorrow. You will arrest Ronald Dantoras and his family. Their house overlooks this bay. Has it become a crime to live by the sea, Excellency? The crime will be treason. An extensive search of the house will discover this. Another letter to the Austrians, like the late Count de Mornes. Exactly. Only this time there should be no need for suicide. to the right. To whom do I owe this? To the sword of a ghost and the cause of justice. God speed, Senor Dantoras. Enough to roast our Roca's whole staff. Please come to the stables, Senorina. Oh, oh boy, go! Oh. If you've stolen another sheep, Rollo. Maria, something terrible has happened. Yes, I can see that. Jacopo, get some water. Your father and mother should keep you locked in the house. They're dead. No. La Roca. La Roca's men searched our house. They pretended to find a, a treasonous letter. When my mother and father protested, they were shot down cold blood while the troopers held me powerless. 
murderous. I've told you many times, Maria. When the fire is too big, you will only burn your hands by fighting it. Someone's fighting it. The Mask Rider. He freed me from six of the governor's guards. Masked? Why, there's only one man in Casamari who'd strike against La Roca. Yes, I thought of that too. Renato de Mona has a wounded leg. This one rode like a devil and spoke with an accent I've never heard before. Then you heard his voice. Yes, he... He said something about the sort of a ghost. We'd better get Ryle out of sight or we'll all be ghosts. But Your Excellency, if, if the fellow were human, we'd have found him. Those stories come better from peasants than the governor's lieutenant. Our patrols have stretched through every patch of forest, sacked every hen house. We're not hunting barnyard fowl. This search must begin in the minds of the people who distrust us. I should not expect blood from a stone. You stay here. I'll lead a patrol myself. <laughs> your door. Hey, Captain? My friend Dante dislikes interruptions. Oh, clear conscience and upright. How does suspicion wound thee to the core? Your cover is falling from your leg, Captain. My leg is very grateful for your attention. But rest is the best doctor. Yes, but I like to see that everything is in its proper place. Very careful. Um, you, uh, you might warn the gardener to scrape his boots before bringing flowers to my room. Yesterday, he was a little careless. Yes, he was. Wasn't he? Stay with me. Arrest anyone who tries to leave. Forgive the hour, Signorina. Search the upstairs. There's reason to believe you may be in danger. The concern for my safety is a little tiring, Governor. Your lieutenant already searched this house once today. As a loyal citizen, you must be as anxious as we are to apprehend the enemies of our country. Enemies of our country or your excellency? Whichever you call them. My friends fare better. Much better. And the Don Toros, for instance. No Count de Morna. Their treason died with them. But happily, there can be no shadow of disloyalty in the heart of Maria Dorsini. Do your excellency spies also search the hearts of women? <laughs> I do that myself. When she is beautiful and warm, close. Move on. Be quick. Downstairs with you. I'm sorry, Signorina. I hope you chose your patriotism more carefully than your friends. He was nesting under the eaves, Excellency. The old rooster here tried to help him get free. When will you learn the price of treason, Don Torres, eh? When I see you hung by the neck. No, 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 no. The poor fellow's mind is deranged by grief. We have an excellent cure to restore his senses. If he survives. You murdering swine. <laughs> I can see why your house is a refuge for traitors, Signorina. 
Did you think I would close our doors to him after what was done to his family? I was only wondering if he hadn't opened your doors to another. The so-called ghost of Monte Cristo. Senor La Roca, ghosts do not need doors. Kratos Cavi, you too, Senor La Roca. Have no respect for rank. Take his weapon, young Torres. Then open that closet. Damn it! Ah! His Excellency, too. No special privileges for the governor. Hands off me. This way. This way. Wait. Now we'll call in the guards so the road will be clear. Men, out. You, around to the stables. You stupid fools! your mask and your accent now, Captain De Morna. Renato. You knew me. The arms on your ring. And who else would know these old ruins but the children who played here together? The look as guards will if I don't get these horses out of sight. Renato. I owe you my life. Captain. I was an old fool to have thought that De Morna could ever change sides. None of our lives will be worth much if LaRocca's men get here. Zio, you're an old soldier. Hide the horses. Then mount guard. We can watch every approach to this place. Yes, my captain. And you, Rollo. We'll need a little Jacopo to get supplies and carry messages. Slip into town after dark and find him. If he's to be found. He sleeps in the stable at the end of the street. I could go. No, Maria, you stay here out of sight. Search the trooper's saddlebags for food and get their blankets. They all may have to stay hidden here for quite a while. But why did you choose this strange disguise? Like Monte Cristo's statue come to life. There's a hope that the memory of a dead hero would be the best way to defeat a live traitor. A rook. Then when I learn what's behind his treachery, I may be able to speak to the people in the only voice they would heed. They'll never learn. La Roca feeds them lies until they'll jig to any tune he plays. They'll dance to a different tune when they learn what happens to their gold. That's what I hope to find out back at the castle. And you'll go there now? I must. If La Roca finds I'm gone, then the mass rider's unmasked. And we're all lost. I have a private debt to clear up with the governor first. Wait, Rollo. I also have a debt. <laughs> what I have to do to make you look at me. If I looked at you any longer, I'd stay here forever. And that night at the castle, I thought I'd lost you. I really did. How wrong you were. Be careful, Carmen. dangerous game Renato's playing. What if he should be missed at the castle? If he was Monte Cristo, he'd not be missed. Remember the legend? He could be in two places at once. Yes, that is the legend. Monte Cristo could be in the castle. And at the same time, thousands of people.
understood. Yet, my idiot guards couldn't put a bullet in him. Perhaps we won't need a bullet. While you were busy searching mines, Excellency, I've been looking for leaks in our own roof. Our wounded host? You'll have to show me proof. I may show you an empty room. You see, I took the precaution of locking every door in the castle walls from the inside. <laughs> much better. Fine. With luck and a servant's stout shoulder, I may soon get downstairs for a game of chess. That will be a welcome relief from the stupidity of my advisors. Crystal's name has used your gold to purchase fame. Then by the power of your trust cries, traitor, and turns lives to dust. Double the bounty on this traitor's head. We'd best avoid the word traitor. What do you think of this? Very poor rhyme scheme. This ghost must be a better horseman than a poet. No student of your friend Dante, eh, Captain? Definitely not. Whoever he is. Praise heaven, you're back safe. and recognized, thanks to Jacopo. Our little thief has a tailor's eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's coming up the road behind me. Where has he been? What has he been doing? Delivering wood to the castle. Jacopo, have you seen the captain? Hold it. Two? Will you stop counting your loot and tell me? What, Signorina? What he said. Did he ask about the masked rider? For heaven's sakes, will you stop chewing that orange and give me his message? That's what I'm trying to do. It's in the orange. If I guess right, one of you rides better than he rhymes. Suspicion of me is growing. Watch in the Demona Glade for a signal from my window. Then let the ghost of Monte Cristo haunt the castle ground so I can go unseen. Await me at the burned oak. My husband saw this rider, clean as your nose. All black he was, with a death's head under his mask. Ah, they're all seeing through their wine cups. The sword's gone, isn't it? It doesn't take a wine cup to see that. They say the horse tracks run right into the cemetery. There, you hear? Well, I'd rather hear where our gold ran to. Watch your words. If oh, this God. talk gets back to his excellency. And who'll take it to him? You with your high priced bread. Perhaps there's a sign behind it. There's injustice among us. Well, how could there be? Now, Walker was a victim. The names of those who spoke against you in the square, Excellency. Lombardi, Farinacci. Instead of bringing me a list of village gossips, find that masquerading tricks to. Senor Donner, welcome. It's good to see a man of art in this world of war. Tell Mark I'd have my horse ready in an hour. The square is buzzing like a hornet's nest. <laughs> These hornets have no sting, Senor Donner. I warn you, that fellow's all eyes and ears. Well, with the slightest breath oh, of our negotiation. Have no fear. He's kept busy chasing mounted nightmares. 
You brought my answer? Yes. My uh, clients have accepted your terms. The uh, money is being transferred to your Swiss account. Then the transaction need be delayed no longer. Yes, but uh, I don't like this talk of uh, mask riders. I assure you, it's mainly talk. Oh, yes. I'll leave for Argenta immediately after dark. The sooner the better, my friend. Here's your purchase. Quite complete. Wine? Oh, thank you. Your clients have acquired a priceless treasure. Uh, no treasure, sir, is priceless that can be bought. <laughs> He has business in Casabari. I wish I could join him. Uh, will you give me a hand into the library? If you still need one? Yes, indeed. But you notice I've actually succeeded in squeezing my poor leg into a boot. I notice everything, Captain. Uncle Artie, not so fast, please. If it keeps improving, I may soon be able to mount a horse. By the look of your boots, Captain, I'd say you'd been on a horse quite recently. I find old, well-worn boots to be more comfortable. Oh, cops. And when this poor leg is improved, you expect to go back to the war, hmm? Of course. It seems the war has come to us. now, Signorina Dorsini, and that sly smile. So you knew it was I? I knew it was somebody with a steadier hand for a bridle than a pen. The plan worked wonders, Carl Mia. I'd hoped it might shake their blind faith in the Roca and draw suspicion to you. I was so afraid. I was a little afraid myself that Jacopo might eat the message. Tell me, Renato. Have you learned anything more about what is behind the governor's conspiracy? His Excellency's negotiations with his mysterious art dealer friend have been completed. I think tonight we'll learn the Rocco's secret. Take care you stay alive to use it. Bullets can't hurt a ghost, Maria. Go back and wait for me at the old ruins. Look after her, little soldier. At your orders, my captain. the road and climb down where I can see you before my aim improves. You too, Senor Donna. Oh, uh, uh, no. Uh, but this is preposterous, sir. I'm a merchant of the arts, of little wealth and uh, without politics. Then there'll be nothing worth finding in the pocket of your coat. My coat? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Only an old sales receipt of no value. In that case, you won't mind giving it to me. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Grandy. No, the inner pocket, Senor Donna. Oh. Are your sales receipts always written in code, Senor Donna?
I hope you can read this code better than I. I'd rather read the face behind that mask. Remove it. Certainly. Hold this. Sears at the door. There was a gunshot in the library. See his face. I think I see it. You always were too curious, Kalari. Excellency, he he wasn't. Perhaps he was. A masked rider without his mask. Six words. Worth almost as much as the jewels of the Tsar. Fiedris Blancas, nine night of six. There was nothing else on the paper? Nothing. I decoded the whole message before Calardi interrupted. His last interruption. Fiedris Blancas is the name of a sheltered cove near my family's old house. So near the Laroca stopped at nothing to remove your family. I wonder what use he could have for a sheltered cove. Maybe the same use the smugglers used for it in your grandfather's time. And lovers, too, I've heard. I'm going to find out. Let us go with you, Cotto. No, Maria. Still one more secret we have to learn. For unmasking Oroco to the people. Be patient a little longer. <laughs> He's lived too long while we are being patient. Remember, Rollo, I, too, have a debt to clear. And don't you bring the masked rider back to life while I'm away. I won't. But where do you hope to learn the Roca secret? At Piedras Blanca. Nine o'clock. Tomorrow night. I desire an immediate inspection of the garrison, Commandante. At once, sir. Trumpeter, sound assembly! This visit is quite a surprise, sir. You must always expect surprises in wartime, Commandante. Fort Garrison, all present or accounted for, sir. I'll take command. Detail! Attention! 
Present on. Ground on. Fort detachment. Stack on. Five. Five. Five paces. Hard. Punch. One, two, three, four, five, five. Men, your muskets. We are betrayed. Have them locked in the barracks. Very good, sir. Lock the Italians in the back. <laughs> Remove their uniforms and have our men change into them. Shoot anyone who is it. Your thieving has improved. It wasn't stole, Sergeant Zio. I forged it, like you always did in war. Good little soldier. Pour more wine. And now your fortune. You don't need the gods to find my bad luck, Maria. Maybe we'll find hope. You see? This card promises a journey. And this one... Death Guard. Queen of Spades. Well, it means nothing, Rollo. We make our own fortune. The cards are only a warning. No, Maria. The dark lady's been too familiar in my house. I'm not surprised she set her cap for me. Rollo, Maria! Renato! What has happened? An Austrian detachment has taken the fort. The Austrians? That is impossible. Baroque's treachery made it possible. I'm writing to get help from the nearest army outpost. Why, well, that can mean invasion. It will. With the fourth cannon silent, an enemy fleet can land an army. And attack our lines from the rear. Were you close enough to see they were Austrian? Close enough to see them shoot down some of our men and take the garrison. But even without that, their own sentry would have given them away. His uniform was Italian, but he mounted guard with his musket on his left shoulder. Our men carry our muskets on the right shoulder. Uh, crowded is right enough. Forty miles to the nearest army outpost. But La Roca's patrols are on the whole district. There'll be more than patrols if I don't get through. Wait, Captain. It's two days' ride to our outpost. I know that. I've done it before. That's not what I mean. I'm soldier enough to know that your post is in the castle. What use would that be now? You are the only one who can learn when the invasion will strike. And if it strikes before our troops get here, you can stop them from marching into a trap. He's right, Renato. You must be at the castle. I'll run in your place, Renato. I'll get through. Do you know the way? As well as I knew my father. Good. You'll have to ride hard. Keep off the main road. Two riders taking different routes would double our chances. I'm going to. No, Maria. You stay here. At least I'll know some of us are safe. Rollo! Rollo! The fate of Italy rides with you. Godspeed. <laughs> Artillery Sergeant Zio, ready, sir. Zio, I don't think you should. Proceed, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. Do you think they have a chance? Everyone always has. Find a moment that has no end. Thank you, Corporal. Jacopo, help me saddle the mare. No, Signorina. The captain, he's. When you're a little older, you'll find out that women don't always obey captains.
cut your wood. Have you have passed to travel this road? I, I, I have a small paper with big words on it the major gave me. You are the horn. Come around where I can see you. Spend your forces carelessly, my friend. Your Excellency deploys his pawns too well. One more bad move may lose you the game. Yes? I thought Your Excellency should know. Two men were shot dead while trying to get through our net of patrols. Could you identify them? One wore the ring of the Dentoris family. The other was an, a known old man. Well done, Lieutenant. It's vital to enforce my regulations concerning the movement of civilians behind our armies. It's still your move, Captain. You seem a bit unnerved, my friend. Is it because of losing the game? Or perhaps because you knew these two unfortunates? Why should they concern me, Excellency? For the same reason I am concerned. You see, there were four who got away. Rado Dantoras, an old man, a girl, and a masked rider. You mean that uh, rider who rode better than he rhymed? Yes. Uh, perhaps one more of our pigeons is coming home to roost. We caught her on our gentle road. He gave us quite a chase, Your Excellency. Yes, I can see that. Come in, Senorina. Please be seated. This is an unexpected pleasure. It was not intended. Oh, I'm aware of that. What I don't understand is where were you and your friends headed that made such risks necessary? Women's reasons are usually dictated by the heart, Excellency. Thank you, Captain. But my question was addressed to the Signorina. Did you think we'd go on hiding in the brush like foxes, waiting for your hounds to root us out? You answer one question with another. I asked where you were going, not why. Where your Excellency's men couldn't find us. I have a definite dislike for prisons. I, too, dislike caging beauty behind bars. You will remain here as my guest. Marco! Signorina Torsini will occupy the tower room. Lock it and post the guard outside. This way. Oh, Marco. Take uh, Captain De Morna, too. Lock him in the room below. But, Excellency, I don't understand. Oh, I thought I made it very clear. The first two of that four were killed. There's the third. You are the fourth. Take him. Time to live should be more careful. Take him to the tower. I asked you a question downstairs, Senorina. I've given you the only answer I can. There are other ways to get answers. I've not asked mercy from you. No, of course you haven't. Mercy is like patriotism, the refuge of the weak. That's a good apology for treason. Treason to what? These hands didn't win power by waving a flag. They fought and killed to get it. Now I'm selling what I've got for a king's ransom. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to share it with me. That's a strange proposal, Governor Roca. It is one. It is if you wish it. And there are many reasons why you should. Then I will give you my answer now. No, Maria. As 
and my enemy, you have very much to lose, very much. This hand would serve you better joined than mine. The climate of our coast may become unhealthy tomorrow. Our coast? What do you mean? Casamari may have some visitors. Let us say I've unlocked the gate with a golden key. And you will be gone when it is opened. I shall be on my way to Switzerland at dawn. You'll be wise to join me. Strangers are not always polite to conquered people, especially when they are beautiful. What a price our people will pay for having trusted you. But you need not pay, Maria, if you leave with me. Perhaps of two evils, even a traitor's company is a lesser, unless you prefer the affections of a regiment. A woman needs time, even to choose between evils. Then you shall have it. Send word with the sentry here when you've decided. I'll send a servant to your house for suitable clothes for traveling. I suggest you not take too long. Tomorrow by sea. Tomorrow? How do you know this? Haroka was here. He plans to leave Kazamari at dawn. He was very generous with his information. Why he told me doesn't matter. Bernardo, that door can be open. You must ride to warn the nearest army outpost. Too many miles and too little time. There might be a chance to reach the old ruins. The ruins? But why? Well, you don't mean to hide. Yes, in a mask and cape. And rouse the people of Casamari with the only voice they'll heed. Wait. Please tell His Excellency I'm ready to speak to him now. That door can stay locked, Maria. I'm not going. Oh, no, it'll not. You must listen to me. I have listened. And I understand now how you'll open that door. He's asked you to leave with him. There's only one main road from Katamari to the Swiss border. A road you could follow. No, Maria. We'll stay here together. Even your arms about me cannot shut out the sound of the enemy's gun or the cries of our people. There would be no hope for Katamari or, or our country if the Austrians got ashore. This is chance the cannon of our fort could stop the invasion. You've got to take it. And you, Maria? What do either of us matter, Carl? You will please follow me, Signorina.
in the compartment in the back of the coach. Master. The alarm makes an Yes, I hear it. The coach watching us. Be prepared to leave the instant I return. I speak to you in the name of the man who carried this sword. This sword, right enough. The one that was taken. But this man's no statue. He's the one with a bounty on his head. Be still. Listen. Oh. Yes, and listen well. Your father's followed this sword. Now I swear to you by all it stands for that you've been betrayed by your military governor. <laughs> a roker? A traitor? I'll never believe that. I believe that, Voight. No man would dare such a lie. Betrayed? How? You'll see how when the rising sun shows you the sails of an Austrian invasion fleet. Austrian invasion fleet? Austrian invasion fleet? That could never happen. Our fort protects us from any fleet. Not one cannon of our fort will fire against the invaders because they are manned by Austrian gunners. Austrian gunners? Yes, Austrians. I saw them myself. Sneaked into our fort by the trickery of Governor La Roca. Who are you to accuse our governor? Yes, show us who you are. Take off your mask. Let us see your face. Who are you? That's right. Who are you? Who I am does not matter. Your father has put their faith in Monte Cristo, and he protected them. This is his sword. I am his voice. Have faith in both long enough to follow me to the fort, and once again, Monte Cristo will have saved the people of Casamare. Well, no one would dare accuse our governor. Well, we best like... heed him. Yes, yes, let's follow him and see for ourselves. To the fort. Lead us to the fort. Lies do you use to fight my good people, Captain De Morna? De Morna? That traitor's son? Don't dare come here! He accuses you, Excellency. He says the fort is held by the Austrians. Before you ask them to follow you like geese, take off your mask so they can see the cowardly face of a traitor's son. Take off the mask! It is De Morna! Kill the De Morna! No, wait, wait! Let's see what he has to say for himself. Speak, De Morna! Yes, I am De Morna's son. And because I'm a Demona, I came back here to learn the truth about your military governor. And I know now that for 20 million lira, he tricked our garrison and sold our fort. Hang the lying traitor son now. Wait! I see them! He's full of sail! He's full of Look! I see them, the Austrians. A body of peasants approaching by the Casamari Road. Our fleet is still an hour sail away. We must hold off these swine at any cost. One volley should turn them back into farmers, sir. I hope so. Every man to the parapet, in Austrian uniform, we need no longer play the role of spies. When Jacopo's grenade opens the gate, half of you follow me. The rest storm the parapet. <laughs> Take care of them while I'm gone. Gone where? We have yet to sink their fleet. 
That is for the artillery. The cavalry has another mission. Somewhere on the road to Switzerland. For my father, for Rollo, Don Torres, and Brazil. I'll add one more. The Fort Cannon, Larocco, welcoming your Austrian friends to Casamare. That's not the greeting they paid you for. Is it Morocco? <laughs> Captain. So did I. But I will never lose you again. Never. Mm -hmm. 